Nothing will stop Kelsey. Being a trailblazer can be lonely. She's kind of like the pioneer of women in baseball. Every time I walk onto that field, I'm representing something that's bigger than just me. You don't make it to where she is without putting in the work behind the scenes. The game is bigger than just trying to put up numbers and be this the Hall of Famer, you know? It's more than that. It's the person that you are. What's up? My name is Kelsey Whitmore. I'm a professional baseball player, and this is Grind Mode. I was introduced to the game when I was at a young age. Always grew up playing in the front yard with my brother. Always played catch with my dad. When I was six years old is when I really started playing. That's when I really got started with it. And ever since then, I fell in love with the game and I kind of never really fell out of love with it. We'd set up a little like field with the pillows and the couches and we'd always be in the house playing. We'd have to put the picture frame down on its side, like face down, because my mom would yell at us anytime we hit it and we we're just loud all the time. But like, that's for sure a memory that comes to mind when it came to growing up playing baseball. When I was younger, the adversity used to eat me up. A lot of the camps, the facilities that I train at, the tournaments I'd go to would be all men that played there and that I competed against. The biggest thing that helped me was being surrounded by other athletes that went through the same thing and I learned how to face it and how to deal with it and, and they helped me and encouraged me to uh, stick to my game plan, to stick to who I was, to not focus on what I can't control. And a lot of that reflected on the field. Why do I wake up to do what I do? Like, why do I wanna play this game? You wake up and you don't even wanna do certain things. The dream of wanting to get to the next level, hopefully get to the big leagues one day, has always been a dream of mine since I was a, I was a little girl. My why is I love this game with every part of my heart and my soul, but like I've learned more about myself and more about life within this game than I have learned about life itself outside of the game. Yeah, today is more upper body day, so working more pecs, back, I mean trying to gain strength in the upper half of things and trying to build a lot of stability and yeah, definitely isolating a lot of stuff and building strength in all areas, all aspects of that. First, when I was younger, I, I had like I always had like one trainer was right next to me, always helping me and pushing me. And what I love about here is we don't always have someone babysitting us, so it forces us to to put in the work and to to get up and get going and um, to be accountable of the reps that we do. So and that that's the culture that they bring here, which I love. The moments that I live for, I'm on the mound and I'm, I'm trying to work my butt off to compete. I got my players behind me making diving catches. What your players do on the field to, to work for you, to compete for you and do everything they can to help win. I love the moments where maybe in practice you guys are working on something and then it happens during a game. You're like, man, we did that together. Like we were just talking about that. Like we've been working day in, day out for that moment right there. One of my favorite moments this past season, I had been working on the pitching side of things this last season. One of my buddies on the team, we'd be working together, working on pitches. I was able to execute it well the next day. And he came up to me after that outing with like the biggest smile on his face. He's like, man, we just worked on that yesterday. He's like, I'm so proud of you. Seeing all those athletes in the Olympic Village and in the Pan Ams, I had to kind of take a step back and realize where I was. Cause in the moment you just, you're going through the motions. You don't realize like the atmosphere and the environment you're in. And I had to take a step back and realize like, these are some of the best athletes in the country right now. Like and I'm surrounded by this. It kind of made me feel like I'm here for a reason, so let's act like it. It was a big moment. It was it was really cool to see that and uh, experience that, especially at a young age. Japan was Japan was amazing. Playing in another country is is, is awesome. You get to see like I, like I mentioned, see the culture, you see the the atmosphere. One thing I, I loved about it was they're very supportive with women in baseball. It was really welcoming to be out there and play where everyone knew that we were there for baseball. That was really cool. They really take care of their baseball culture. Community is huge to me, and I'm forever grateful and thankful for the people in my corner. They mean the world to me. They've helped me through some of the hardest times in my life. Well, I got some of my good friends. They've always been, you know, people in my back corner, solid people. I believe it's important for, especially in 
a person that's in Kelsey's position to have community. Being that she's kind of like the pioneer of kind of women in baseball, one of the few, right? It could be lonely at times to kind of be spearheading that mission for all the little girls that look up to her. You could be doing like the most amazing things, but if you don't have people to enjoy that with, it's so lonely. She's been through a lot, you know, of up and downs throughout her life, and she just has the resilience to come and bounce back. She's gives not only herself strength, but like the people around her. Genuinely, without these girls back here, I don't think I would, one, be where I'm at today, and two, I don't think I'd be the person I am today. Three, if I'm being completely honest, I don't even think I would be here today. Some professional players I really admire and look up to. Outfielders like Mike Trout, Mookie Betts. I love the way they play, their hustle, their mechanics, just their swag. I admire Jackie Robinson because I love his story, I love the history of him, I love the player he was, was, was Jackie Robinson. The tournaments I'd go to would be all men that played there and that I competed against. So from the outside perspective, people that saw me there and saw me playing there and competing there, me doing that coming out of college, that's when they started to realize like, oh, she's, she's really trying to play this game professionally. The team that I played for this past season was the Staten Island Fairhawks, and they're an independent pro ball team of the Atlantic League. I was looking for someone to sign before I even went to their spring training. Uh, baseball Reference like, had reached out and recommended me to the team and they were interested. So I went to try out and competed there and then they signed me and then from there I went to spring training and leading up to all of that I did what I always did which was train. <laughs> My first outing out there on the mound, I was pretty nervous. I told myself not to show it. That was the last thing I wanted. I didn't want to show any fear. I just was ready to get out there and compete. Throughout my whole season, my pitches definitely evolved, just depending on what worked with certain hitters what, and what didn't work. I'm not, I'm not 6'4 and 220. I gotta work with what my body has. So learning from every outing and trying to execute whatever you can to get the best outcome. Dry mode to me, I mean, that's just getting after it, no matter what. It doesn't matter what day you're having, it doesn't matter what you're going through. It's just, you're gonna get up, you're gonna set your mind to it and you're gonna get after it. To me, grind mode is, it's it's you versus the world. You think I wouldn't see you trying to try me? You think I wouldn't hear about you lying to me? All that tough talk sound like crying to me. So here I am, the man with dynasty. The time has come, the time is now, showing why I wear the crown. The loudest in the 